tomato fashado. Uh, here we go. <laughs> who, uh, who says tomato? Battle uh, field. Do you think Rob says tomato? He's not playing Joker. Yeah, unfortunately. Maybe it was I don't just, know where to comment it anymore. It was just to throw Dill off. It was Hashtag just, just another Palu in New York City. Hashtag look, tag all the day's work. Look, he's playing a competitive game and he took the Jokers out of the deck. That's how you play. All right. Boo! <laughs> I'm not letting that slip by. That, that was. Uh. <laughs> all right. So we're seeing spacing out here. Uh, Palutena just challenging with the gyro. She is thousands of years old. She's got to be, right? You think she cares about some toys on the floor? Just kick that stuff out of the way. You think she's thousands of years old? I mean, she's a goddess. She's existed since the beginning of time. Well, okay. <laughs> well, depending on who you ask. If you ask Palutena, maybe she'd say thousands of years. I don't know. I don't know anything about Kid Icarus. Um, I know that Kid Icarus is not a kid. Kid Icarus is a game for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Yes. Made in 1985. Yes. I don't oh, know if that you're That right? was a really smart tomahawk. So he tomahawk faked the grab there and went, went for a uh, short hop there, which was safe, even if he didn't get it. All right. Go oh, wow. Just, so, see, that's really good if it hits. If it whips, it's kind of a hard punish, though. Uh, tries to catch the warp to the ledge. I mean, honestly, I think he timed that right. So if he would have gone for the ledge, he'd be dead. Oh, uh, you may be right. I'm not sure. Oh, uh, a little slow on that neutral air. Still has some gas in the tank. Uh, get a kick back off, though. He's not allowed to free fuel for very long. All right. Knock back off once again. Still not getting back for free. In fact, he's not getting back at all. That fuel is combustible. I'll have you know. Yeah. yeah. Rob is not eco-friendly. And I'm pretty sure Utopian Ray hasn't won a Xeno yet. So uh, no, ultimate. no, no. I, I, I remember. He did win a Xeno. He oh, won, which one? He won because uh, I did the interview with him. He did the uh, one where it was three strings of Palus in a row. It was him, Jen, oh, right, and... Oh, uh, right, right, right. That was stupid. Okay. Yeah. 2-2. Two, two. I don't remember a lot, but I do remember that. All right. Gyro's still in play. He knew it. Of Ray wasn't ready for he it. Threw that, he threw that nonsense upwards. I See, that was the only thing I could think about. I don't know how Ray wasn't ready for it, but he was ready for this Nair train. Choo-choo. Rob may be... Uh, you know, I, I was about to call him locomotion. I don't think he's locomotion, but Not at all. he could be a helicopter. He could apply for a job as well. What? I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. guess. Yeah, hey. he, could, he could get some air on that. All right, so okay. it doesn't look like Rob really has any answer to cross up Nair on his shield from Palutena, which is a really strong option of hers. Bearing off stage, that fuel is gently running out. Chilling off stage. He still gets clipped by that last little bit in there. And he's catching all these explosive flames on the way back. Yeah, I mean, explosive flames are a really good tool off stage for catching air dodges, double jumps, just really good just eating your resources. And it kills the boot. Yes, it also helps that uh, Rob is not one of the more compact models. He's pretty big. Oh, tries the jump. He ran out of fuel early on. He's got to get back. Yep. Air dodging into the stage is really vulnerable. Yes, it is. You get an additional, I think, five frames or more, depending on how much you rolled there. So that was a checkmate scenario. And that was probably the longest edge guard we've seen all night. Now that, I yep. think about it. that was a whole stock's worth of just keeping him off the stage. He had no stage control to speak of. All right, Dill trying to work his way back. Goes for a little bit of a predictable there that's going to get him off stage once more. All right, safe there. Yeah, he just doesn't have an answer to that on the crossover. Nair, Tech Chase with the Nair. Balls it up because he knows he doesn't have a true follow-up. All right, good challenge. All right, Dash Dancing. He doesn't need to rush in now. He's got a full stock lead. Oh, catches he the warp. Do I have to? OK, I was going to say. Do we have to put an asteroid next to that? I'm surprised he didn't get clipped by that explosive flame on the ledge. That looked like it was just going to get him off the edge of the Right. Uh, gonna, oh, no worries. All right, walling him out with the fair here, but Ray is still finding his way back. He's finding his way back, and he's keeping Dill's Rob at the stage here. He just can't seem to get back. That very meaty. Dangerous. All right. Going off stage. And Ray doesn't, yeah. Ray doesn't have to do a lot, but he can. He can still drop off and do things like that. Oh, got a little aggressive. Look, it's super bleak. Yo, he could still tech. I Ray's can't believe that. Yeah. Oh. Rude, disrespectful. Oh. Disrespectful. 
I love it. So, do you think if Viridi hates humans and what they've done to nature, that Palutena hates robots? You just told me you didn't know anything about Kid Icarus, and then here you are listing a character. Well, I've seen I've seen that stage where she says, human scum, you don't belong in this world, blah, and then she, she literally nukes humanity with, well, it's not a nuke, it's like a green nuke. It's like the eco So you do know something about Kid Icarus. I, okay, maybe a little bit. So you, you lied straight to my face. I was looking at the monitor. What's Rosalina straight to your face? and Luma. No way. Ray's played him before. Are we actually seeing this? Ray's played him before. This is a. This will be a treat. I'm not sure how I feel about this, especially with him coming it's out. Honestly, oh, it's a tryout, right? Because he's up a game. He won that game, and if he loses, he has a counter pick. So he has advantage based on the stage. So why not give it a shot? That's true, but at the same time, I feel like Ray is the type of player who, if he feels he has the win, he's going to work to get it, and he wouldn't compromise that. So he must have some sort of confidence in Rosalina, and his play is Rosalina. I mean, he played a throw Smash 4. Well, let's talk about the matchup. Rosa versus Rob, right? Yes. She can delete the projectiles. She can, but that doesn't take them out of play. Like, uh, some characters just... Oh, that was a straight there. Wait, God! What? What, ha what What happened that whole time? Dill's like, wait, I'm how do I fight this character I'm so again? Confused. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's got the right idea. You just gotta hit Luma. Uh, Luma still, unfortunately, uh, a little bit of a brat to deal with. A little bit of a. Uh, so, in the butt. you know how in Smash Four, everyone knew what moves in their kit killed Luma the fastest, yes. or like gave knockback or whatever, and that was like memorized. Yes. Do you think Dill has that memorized for Rob in this game? That's a solid question. I think he is. Maybe not. Are you yawning maybe, on me? Maybe not with the yawn. Are you yawning? I might have been yawning. <laughs> it's very it, Is it just like a habit from Smash 4 to see Rosalina on screen? Look. That's rude. You know, I started competitively post-DLC, so I never really got the chance to yawn it all out. You know? Like, I didn't get to be there for pre-patch Diddy Kong or she. Lucky. Although, I, yeah, I was going to say, that's probably a blessing, not a curse. All right, here we go. Oh, look See, out. See, that was a, exactly what I was about to say he should try, is the tornado, but that didn't have any effect on Luma. The only reason it worked again is because Ray said, oh, great, I stopped him, and then he did it again. All right. So, for those who don't know, uh, Rosalina, when she does that absorb, if the projectile cannot be grabbed, it just deletes it, and if it can, it gives it right to her hands. That's right. So, does sort of throw itself into her position if Dill decides to toss it. All right, nice. Jumps back. Luma disappearing. When she has the trail there, she is off. All right, we're going to see escape on that one. Dill finally taking the lead. Two stocks to one. Ray coming out with Rose and Lina. Yep. So, see, I, I thought he had gone for the, uh, the absorb there, but it looked like he went for it there instead. Uh, just trade it. Just keep trading it, by all means. With Luma, you're going to win those trades. All right. Got it out. Playing careful here. He doesn't need to play too aggressive, but he's putting these projectiles out where you can't react with the absorption. Absorb it. All right. That was an interesting approach. I was waiting for the grab up. Missing at 139. Nice. Waiting out the meteor. Those are such pretty effects when it sucks them in yeah, down. Takes the projectiles. projectiles. He li like Rosalina bends light to take that little bit. Alright. See, <laughs> look at that. It's nice shooter face. Alright. Nice. It's a little bit of damage before getting back on stage. And what strong momentum Ray had in the beginning of this game has now been diminished. 171% on Dill. He's still looking for a kill, and Rosalina now, after the nerfs from Smash 4 Ultimate, not so great at killing anymore. She still has options, but definitely not as nearly as prominent. Well, he's at 171, so he just needs to, like, find a just sneeze on him. There you go. Oh, wow. Well, that was because Luma sneezed on him. That's different. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, it works, <laughs> technically, when you think about it. Dill had to go wash his hands real quick. Yeah. All right. Don't want to catch anything. Yeah. I mean, can you imagine what kind of bacteria are on a star that's it's never disgusting. been on Earth before? Oh Nobody's God. got any. <laughs> yeah, you know, deep Ray whip that forward air? Yo, he was out there, man. Yo, he needs to contact Olimar if he's going to play Rosalina like this. If he's going to be shooting amongst the stars, yep. going yep, that yep, yep, yep. deep. Okay, okay. Luma's safe. Luma's gone. Stage. Yep. Uh, Luma's gone. For a good 13 seconds or something. You know, I think I just realized Luma when Luma dies, rather than confetti, it's just Starbits. Yep. 
That's that's really nice. I like the effects in this game. This game is good. Oh, all right. And the laser kills Luma immediately because uh -oh. of the knockback. Oh, oh, no legend yeah. invincibility for you. Yep, yep, yep. Ray. I mean, he gave Rosalina a shot, and he I gave Dale the game too. And now he's got a counter pick on the stage. He's probably gonna go back to Palutena. That's fair. That is a good point. <laughs> that would be such a big brain play to just get the counter pick for the stage by going to game three. I don't know though. We are seeing Dill um, do pretty well here though. He did pretty convincingly up against his Rosalina, and he certainly wasn't out against his Palu, but his Palu was kind of taking names. So we'll see. Let's see him go back to PS2. Stop battle, so this is Yoshi's B. The I monkey wants to attack I'll be the mark. Here goes game. One, go. Bit of an aggressive start from Ray. Oh, gets the tech chase on that one. That was smart. So he knew he didn't have any down tilt follow-ups on that. Dill the spreadsheet on those down tilts. He knows exactly what he has. Maybe. I, I can't see into his mind, but I assume it's filed like a supercomputer. All right, now that angle was smart. Did you see that? How it covered the roll in and spot, or that's not much, uh, neutral get up. Yup. Bill is actually kind of intelligent. He's pretty. He's pretty crazy. All right, gets him off stage. Explosive flames. Trying to keep him out for a little bit. Doesn't throw any hitboxes out. I'm surprised he hasn't used something like down tilt or. Okay, Ray. I mean, you got it, man. <laughs> Explosive flame works. That move does kill. Okay, neutral goes through the spot dodge. Right. This big damage is the platform to air confirm train. it with a forward air. 53 damage off that singular combo. Big boy damage. Oh, excuse me, sir. You have to get off the edge of the platform right there if you're going to catch a ride on the nair train. Oh, never mind. It's big. And just like that, like he snapped his finger, man. He immediately got like the Rosalina or Palutena back in action. Like, the, like game one. Yeah, the game two never happened, man. Can't, can't air dodge to that explosive flame. Not easily, anyway. Especially not if you're a big body. Is he? He's not dead. He nearly was. Still can't breathe. Nope. Well, he's a robot. He should what need is to it? breathe. It has been one minute and four, 20 seconds. And another combo. Yep. And Catching like, right on the train. Wow. I'm sorry. We're Put running that, on a different line today. Throw that Rosalina and Luma in the trash can, dog. This line does not take you to grand finals. You're going to have to get up early. Whoa. Fastball up there. Oh, that was kind of sexy. I kind of wanted to see a conversion off of that. This is done, dude. I can't see Dill bringing this back. I don't know. I this. can't see Dill bringing this back. You know, I'm going to say this is going to be incredibly tough, but I think Dill has made comebacks like this. I can believe. I think the second Dill gets hit off stage, it's over. Let's we'll see. We'll see who's right. Bet. Right, ladies and gentlemen, taking all bets. The machine past the ages and the lady who's been alive for all ages. The goddess versus the god machine. The ultimate intelligence versus the omniscient intelligence. Who will win? Who will reign? Oh, wow, that, that was fancy. Thank you. Oh, he's dead. Oh my it's God! Over. How it's did over. he not get clipped it's by over. that? I told you. I told you. I told you. You get him off stage, he's dead. And just like that, Utopian Ray okay. knocks out Dill. Dill's gonna go down with a fourth place finish, and Utopian Ray's gonna be moving on into a losers finals. Ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the at the end of the test, we're gonna give you a two part essay question. Number one. How did he not get clipped by explosive flame? Number two, how did he get clipped by back air? It's true or false. 